This is a short video about the Hadoop Distributed File System, also known as HDFS. Over the course of this video, we are going to go through some of the key elements of the Hadoop system. We will examine areas such as what it was developed from, look at what its key features are, the type of applications it can be used for, the benefits it can bring to a business, and also recognize and highlight some of the challenges that using such a system can create. HDFS was originally built as infrastructure for the Apache Noosh system. This was a web search engine project created to assist the Apache program with its processing needs. The system is designed to run on commodity hardware. Commodity hardware is affordable and accessible for users. It is an open source project that allows applications to run using the MapReduce algorithm. As a system, it has many goals. Most notably, it has a high fault tolerance level by detecting faults and applying quick automatic recovery. It can also reliably store and process large amounts of data. Architecture. Hadoop delegates tasks across multiple servers called worker nodes or slave nodes, essentially harnessing the power of each device and running them together simultaneously. In this way, Hadoop can be thought of as an ecosystem. It's comprised of many different components that all work together to create a single platform. There are two key functional components within this ecosystem. Number one, the storage of data, or HDFS, and number two, the framework for running parallel computations of this data, or MapReduce. Each HDF cluster is simply a group of servers containing the following. A name node is a master server that manages the file system namespace and regulates access to files by clients. Data nodes, usually one per node in the cluster, manage storage attached to the nodes that they run on. The name node instructs data files to be split into blocks, each of which are replicated three times and stored on machines across the cluster. These replicas ensure that the entire system won't go down if one server fails or is taken offline. A client machine is neither a name node or a data node and has Hadoop installed on them. They're responsible for loading data onto the cluster, submitting MapReduce jobs and viewing the results of the jobs once complete. MapReduce is the system used to efficiently process the large amount of data Hadoop stores in HDFS. Its strength lies in the ability to divide a single large data processing job into smaller tasks. Once the tasks have been created, they're spread across multiple nodes and run simultaneously. The reduce phase combines the results together. The entire MapReduce job is the equivalent of building a house. Each job is broken down into individual tasks and assigned to various workers or mappers and reducers. Completing each task results in a single combined output. The delegation of tasks is handled by a job tracker and task tracker. In this example, these can be thought of as the foreman. Workers will come and go, but the foreman is always there. Clickstream behavior. One of the most predominant uses of HDFS is the analysis of large volumes of clickstream data. HDFS allows companies such as Facebook and eBay to store, process and analyze large volumes of clickstream data more efficiently. This enables them to make more strategic marketing decisions. Security protection. Large enterprises build, manage and protect their own propriety distributed information networks. Server logs are the computer generated records that report data on the operations of such network. Such server logs are extremely important in detecting security breaches. Within organizations such as financial institutions that continuously maintain highly data sensitive material, data protection is of the utmost importance. If a network breach is to occur and security does fail, Hadoop understands and then repairs the vulnerability quickly, creating lasting protection for this data. Geolocation. We are a part of a fast growing technological world where smartphones play a significant role. Retail, manufacturing and other enterprises can now track their customers' movements and predict their customer purchases using geolocation data. Hadoop clusters help in streamlining enormous amounts of geolocation data for such organizations. Rewards and benefits of using HDFS. There's extreme low cost per byte. HDFS uses commodity direct attached storage and shares the cost of the network and computers it runs on with the MapReduce compute layers of the Hadoop stack. HDFS is an open source software, so it can be used with zero licensing and support costs. Very high bandwidth to support MapReduce workloads. HDFS can deliver data into the computer infrastructure at a huge data rate, which is often a requirement of big data workloads. HDFS can easily exceed 2 gigabytes per second per computer into the MapReduce layer on a very low cost shared network. Rock solid data reliability. When deploying large distributed systems like Hadoop, there is always a chance that devices will fail. The design of HDFS attempts to minimize this. 
It was designed from the ground up in an attempt to reduce the level of risk of total device failure. Challenges and limitations. HDFS supports writing files once. They cannot be updated. This is a stark difference between HDFS and a generic file system, such as Linux. Generic file systems allow files to be modified. The downsides of HDFS come from its strengths. It has no optimizer, so developers will need to be sure to optimize their own data flow. Because it was built to be a file system, there is no notion of transaction consistency or recovery checkpoints. This means that the answer you get from a Hadoop cluster may or may not be 100% accurate. Because HDFS was built without the notion of efficiency, it results in multiple copies of the data being created. At a minimum, there are generally three copies of the data. And because of the need for data locality and maintaining performance, we very often see six copies of the data required. And that's for the data that's already big by definition. Overall, HDFS can bring many benefits to a business. We hope you've enjoyed this short video and that it gave you a better understanding of the Hadoop distributed file system.